Welcome back to the channel. This is No Wilderness here. And today we're going to go over on how I like to tune my cars. And shout out to Andrew Hopkins, uh, 1677. He's the one that asked for this video. So here it is. I'll show you how I tune my vehicles. And uh, let's jump in the video. Thanks again for watching. Um, so I'm not really the best tuner. I'll, I'll admit it. Like, I got a lot of stuff to learn. But, um... One thing that's really helped me out when I first started was the Forza Tune Pro app. Um, it was really cheap and I thought, you know, if I'm going to start doing this, I might as well have something that assists me to get in and give me a baseline. Um, so when you first get in there, I'll, send, I'll put some screenshots on there. So you, it says new tune saved, race tips. Just go to new tune, put in the vehicle you want. So in this case, we're going to be doing the... I got and then it just asks you to put in some information such as the weight of the vehicle distribution the performance index the uh, drive type and then it's also good for Forza Motorsports and all the other ones on here it's got all of them on there um, you can choose a track to, uh, layout here and most of the They'll mostly make a little bit of changes to it, but or you can just do a general high downforce or low downforce setup. Uh, and then it asks you, you can also do like drift setups, drag race, drift, rain race. Um, so if you have a rain race, this is really nice to be able to just go in there and if you have a tune you really like um, to quickly go in there and just give it a little change and it'll give you some suggestions on what to make to set up for a rain race. Um, so, <clears throat> with that, ask you for your max engine speed, first gear. So we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna. So the first thing we're gonna go is go into our tuning here, and I just like to put in, you know, final drive ratio, four four one, and first gear two five four, six gears, and we want a top speed of uh, let's just put in two twenty. And then, so what you need to do is go in and do a little test drive here so we can get the max RPM speed and then max speed in first gear. So if you're on the controller, it's just down on D-pad. So if we look in here, 11,500 is about where our red line is on here, 85 miles an hour. So we just put that in there really quick, and then it gives us a basic setup here. 25.5, 22. Sometimes the gears aren't the greatest setup, so you know you can change those based on what you like. You don't have to do the gearing if you don't want to. Um, I just like doing it just to make some adjustments and see how much I like it, and then I can adjust it from there. Plus, if we see that it's like really, really out of whack on the acceleration information to the left there, then we can change it or just not do the two, uh, the gear ratio tune. Also, changing top speed can help that as well. So yeah, we're a little bit slower overall for zero to 60, but I think it'll be fine. Plus, those numbers might change here. So one thing I really noticed with this app, it really loves doing absolute zero on toe and rear like front and rear toe it doesn't really like adding into it and it normally goes up to like around um, 5 8 to 6 2 for the front caster angle it's just kind of what this app really loves doing so it puts in a 12.5 for the front here and a 12.9 in the rear. And then we're going to come back to the springs here. But for bump, it says 4.3, 4.9, 4.8. Here's why I really like the app for because I have 
this stuff is kind of confusing. A lot of times they just, you know, other things just don't have anything done here. So um, this one is giving plus to 0 0.4 on both of those. That does change a lot for um, depending on what track you're on is one of the things I see on there. And it has 24.8 here and 16.3. So yeah, if you have to just remember, just change up by going slightly over with your mouse or with your joystick here. You can like slightly bump it to change this here. Actually, I don't know how you change it on the, sorry, I don't know how you change it to the exact what you need on the gamepad here. So that's got to be kind of annoying to do these six threes. If someone knows how to do that on like controller, let me know. I'm like, I don't remember how to do the changing it from 16.3 to anything else. So, so with that, one of the things on there, it does say like, you know, we're at Le Mans, so it wants really, really low downforce. But preference, so that's just kind of like personal preference. I like to have a little downforce, uh, mostly just so when we're going through the turns, we're not going real slow. So I'll normally do something way more than what they suggest. But that's just my personal preference, even though it might not be the fastest tunes. By doing that... Um, I just get more consistent lap times and the car just feels better to me. Of course, feedback scale, you can really just do whatever. This is if you're on like a steering wheel, like I normally have this crank pretty high because I like to actually feel the weight of the, the car when I go in the corner and feel the force feedback on it. Um, if you don't have this set high, it doesn't matter really what you have set in your steering settings. It's pretty important. So we're just going to save this for now. And like I said earlier, the weight of fuel. So let's go in here. 667.1 and 722.7. .7. And then let's save that. And then let's go to fuel entire. And if we cut this down, you know, most Le Mans are going to be around two laps here. So let's just go down to 40 and go back to, go back to the tune the car and see how much of a big difference that made. It changed the spring rate a lot so before you do your tune you want to make sure you have what you want for fuel set up and then do your spring rates um how soft or stiff you want it and make the changes based on that and the weird thing is it does update if you go to a different map so let's say if i save this and i go to a different map and i have the same tune on there it will change slightly um because it's gonna add fuel to it or you might need a different amount of fuel. So just make sure to just double check that. So in this one, it's asking for 446.1 and 513.2. So that's what I like to do, just adjust and then go down and change from there. 513.2 and saying that it wants about a 40% on there. And most of these are going to be, they're all going to be, most of them are around 20. So, you know, if you go up, you know, nine clicks from the bottom. or eight clicks, somewhere around there. And look at that, that changed your stats a lot and made everything a lot better in this case. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go through here and double check everything. And then after that, we'll take it for a quick spin and see how it feels. 
and then we can make adjustments from there. So right before the end of this year, we're going to just do a quick adjustment. And we're going to try to fix the issue with the front being a little loose. Or where, you know, we're getting that not much traction on the front end here for those speeds. So we're going to lower the front rebound dampening a little bit here, and that should... Hopefully give us some more grip here. And now the car doesn't compress as much in the front like it did previously. It was just those a little bit of changes there on the front. Increasing the rear spring. You're able to get a little bit better traction in the front tires. I think the main thing here is small changes have big effects so like don't go crazy with everything make small little changes I mean I would also suggest getting the Forza app that it is if you're just new to tuning it's probably one of the better options to do it's a good baseline I mean I think it's pretty good value for what it is this is the fastest lap we end up getting. Uh, we end up adding one pound of spring pressure in the rear. So to make it a little bit stiffer, to uh, get rid of some understeer that we were having. And this was the fastest speed or the fastest lap that we got. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Have a great day.